the LifeCast people. It's uh, Monday and this week is super simple, easy, last minute appetizers for the holidays. And whether it's Hanukkah for you or Kwanzaa or Christmas or whatever else you may or may not celebrate, it is the season where people might be coming over and you need to do something quickly at the last minute. And if you keep the handful of simple things that we'll show you this week around, you're gonna be in good fucking shape. Love it. Oop, pardon me for swearing. Yes. All right, so the first thing. My bad. <laughs> first thing is a little goat cheese thing. So my my flat griddle is on. Uh, we're gonna make something with the goat cheese, but we want something to put it on. And you know, you can get uh, you can get all wrapped up in special breads and things and blah blah blah. Here's what we're using. The idea is try and use what you've got. And here's what I have. Hold on. Make a little more noise. I'm, I'm getting it. It's way down in the it's way Jeez. down in the bottom of the bag. A bagel. <laughs> now, you might not think that a bagel would be the obvious thing to use for something. Who doesn't love a bagel though? I know, but we're not serving it like this on bagel. We're serving it like this on bagel. Hold on. I gotta think about this now. Little bagel bites. Well, just little bagel pieces, right? Like you could do this if you had a baguette. If you've got a baguette, then use a baguette. But I'm telling you that for me, I keep frozen bagels in my freezer all the time because it's an easy thing they come out, they defrost quickly, and then you can do all kinds of stuff for them. And whether it's a breakfast thing or, or not, doesn't really matter, right? So these guys are just going to sit here. They're going to, they don't really need color, but they need to be warmed up. A little bit crispy. Oh, fine. Fine. I'll, I'll put these guys. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm, right? So you got that bagel. like that. It's good, right? This Italian place near my apartment makes the best bagels. What? Italians make the bagels? Make yeah. I you suppose, know, that, I suppose that's okay. Make, oh, but see, I don't know if they make them. They, it's just the ones that they have that they sell at the they little sell. cafe. Wow. Shh. Excuse me. Just a little bagel and a little bit of butter. That's a damn good bagel. Mm, that's a good bagel. That's just from Vaughn. Mm. All right. So now look, here's what we're going to do. We're going to make an herbed goat cheese, right? So this is just a little four ounce block of the softened goat cheese. It's beautiful, right? Yeah. All right, so let's get the, let's get the stuff that's going to go on. Um, I have some green onions that I did from something last night, and I have some parsley. If you had dill, you could use dill. If you had say, I mean, you could use almost anything you want. So this curly dill, I'm sorry, this curly parsley, that I always say people forget, it's like the, it's like the ugly cousin of the parsley world, but I like it. The key here is to just chop it up really fine. Because we're going to be coating this little log of goat cheese with this. So the key is, look, just at the beginning of the at the beginning of the week, grab one of these little goat cheese things. Look, this guy is good until February of 2016. Just buy one, fling it into the fridge. When people come last minute, then this is what you do. If you had white wonder bread, you could cut the crusts off and you could toast it up a little bit and it would be fine for this. Okay, so here's what we've got, right? We've got that. We've got these green onions, so watch. We put the, what is this? We put the parsley in here.
We put the diced green onion in there. Yes, I could have gone to the fridge and diced it up, but I had that from something I did last night. A little pinch of salt and a little bit of pepper. And then we mix this shit up, this stuff up, sorry. Spread it out. And now we gently extract this little, let me get a plate. We gently extract this goat cheese from here. Now these guys, come look, Max. Can you hear this? Yep. So these guys are now starting to get toasty, right? Once again, I don't need a ton of color. I just need them a little bit crispy. Going to be great. Ow. Ow. Perfect. Okay. We go in here. We cut the goat cheese out of this little log thing like this. We take it out. You know what I'm doing now, Max? Right in the herbs. Right in the herbs, right? Just like this. Wow. Pretty, right? Very nice. Oh, yeah. On the ends, pack some on the ends. Nice, that's pretty. That's pretty. That's pretty. Now just get rid of your. Well, let's do this. Hold on. Well, my hands are still kind of messy. We'll put it on here, like that. Clean off. And then the little toaster are done. I mean, the little bagel pieces are done. I mean, the little whatever you've got are done. Ow, oh, ow, oh, shit, it's hot, 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 hot. Yikes. But look, if you've got, as I said, if you've got like the Wonder Bread, that's cool, but I would just cut it up into little pieces so it looks... You know, not like white bread slices. Um, I like to do this, wherever it is. I like to put a little bit more pepper on top of the guy. So it's good. Look how pretty that is. Perfect. All right, so there it is. So here's all you do. You take a little toast. Toasty. It's been on there for no time. You take some of the goat cheese with the whatever herbs you have in your house. Then you put it on. And then you go like this. Oh, shit. Mm. Mm. That's really good. I'm going to want more. All right. It's all about helping you. Oh, look. Boom. It's all about helping you make food for your guests at the last minute. Because it's going down in the next three weeks. Thanks for being here. Wait. Mm. A total cheat hummus thing on, uh, on Wednesday. A total cheat hummus thing on Wednesday. All right, don't eat shitty food. Thanks for hanging out. Tell your friends. See ya. Wow, that's good.